20 days are left for your half yearly exams and you are aiming for 95 percent sounds tough right but what if i tell you with right plan right resources and a smart daily timetable this 20 days can actually turn your preparation around yes you heard me right in this video i am going to share a 20 day strategy that covers everything starting from the syllabus analysis the resources that you have to follow a realistic daily timetable subject wise smart hacks and finally are ready to follow 20 day action plan so if you are also stressed about the time management and still want to score big please stay with me till the end because this 20 day roadmap can actually change your results let's get started so first of all what all things we have in today's video let's see them quickly so first of all i will be discussing that what should be our goal for the next 20 days what is the three step strategy to achieve this goal what should be our daily routine to follow these three steps how are we going to break this 20 days that is left with us and finally what are some pro tips that we can follow to increase our efficiency or productivity okay so first of all let's see what should be our goal for the and lastly i'll also tell you how our diksha karnataka channel will be your support uh, so first of all if i talk about the goals so the first goal that we must have is to score 60 plus in physics chemistry biology and 70 plus in maths okay this is the marks that you should be targeting okay next that to get this marks you need to cover the entire syllabus right then to cover the entire syllabus will not only work you also need to do question practice after that you also have to solve pyqs and sample paper right so this is something that you should be targeting for the next 20 days your aim should be here now what is our three step strategy to achieve this target the first step is to analyze the syllabus syllabus should be properly analyzed by all of you next to collect the resources what resources relevant re resources that is required not more not less exactly which resources can help you at this point of time next how to study smartly so that in 20 days also you can cover the syllabus so let's see now the first step that is analysis of syllabus so here is the complete syllabus of pcmb physics chemistry maths and bio for midterm now here let me tell you the red color chapters which i have highlighted these are the high weightage chapters the green one are the low weightage chapters and the blue one are the medium weightage chapters so whenever you have to start your preparation your aim should be focusing on these high weightage chapters to be completed first okay so please take a screenshot of this i'm not going to read all of them please take a screenshot of this and understand the weightage of chapters and which chapters you need to pay more importance now first syllabus analysis is done next we have the right resources so for offline resources what i have for concepts you need to follow this ncrt book no other book is required only one ncrt if you study all the concepts will be cleared and for question practice or for pyq's practice you can take the jivit publication book this is more than enough okay now moving to online resources Diksha Karnataka if you are not very comfortable with reading of books or solving questions you may get distracted you are using phone or if you are not comfortable with offline your Diksha Karnataka channel is there which has started a full midterm revision marathon fast track your preparation 30 days challenge so this is a particular uh, series that we have started completely dedicated for your midterm or half yearly exams so you can definitely go through this okay now moving forward our uh, syllabus is done then our resources are fixed now let us see the smart strategy how you need to study the chapters okay so here if you see first of all you need to understand the concepts okay the first important thing is to understand the concept the second important thing is to solve some questions and the third one is to practice pyqs okay now for different uh, chapters or different subject these things will be different how to understand the concepts will be different for physics what resources you need to follow it will be differing subject wise which i will explain in brief now so let's first talk about biology so for biology to understand the concepts you have to read ncrt line by line this is very very important and then 
to solve questions you do not have to solve any exercise question, no in text questions there is nothing only thing you need to solve is here PYQs ok. So, for biology this one and this one is there this is not there okay, where from where you will practice questions from previous year questions. One another information that you should focus on is the diagram right these diagrams are very very important their leveling and the information that is given in the boxes are also a good source of questions. So, focus on that now let us move to maths. So, in maths there is no uh, like understanding of concepts for that you do not have to read NCRT. You can just watch any one shot video or you can just see the summary of the chapter and get make list of all formulae that is done and what you should be solving all the examples. This is very very important in the book whatever examples are given solve them thoroughly ok and from exercise questions you will not get time to solve each and every question. So, focus on type of question one type question solve one question another type type solve another question. So, from a single type do not do not solve maximum questions try to solve different types or different varieties of question in maths. Now, talking about physics in physics also there is no need to read NCRT line by line there is no need at this point of time just focus on the derivations and solve exercise questions ok. So, you can see in biology exercise questions are not needed in maths exercise questions are needed in physics exercise questions are needed but not everyone but sir has told Swamik sir has informed that for numerical chapters the all the numericals that is there in the exercise questions you like definitely should focus on them ok and then PYQs is there for all of three. Now, coming to chemistry we have a little bit in detail about chemistry because it has three types uh, physical inorganic and organic. So, for uh, inorganic I will tell read NCRT line by line for understanding the concepts for organic just review the reactions chemical properties and make mind maps you do not have to go line by line through the chapter for physical only read the chapter summary and make the formula list that is enough. Then solve all in text questions and examples ok for uh, this is for this one is for physical and organic and inorganic everyone all the three ok. Conversion questions of organic chemistry is very important this will help you to remember the reactions better and inorganic chemistry exercise questions are must ok. You may not have to solve the exercise questions of physical and organic, but in inorganic exercise questions are very very important. So, how you have to deal with this concept reading in different different way in different different subjects ok. After that solving questions matters here and then finally, the PYQs. So, in case of chemistry what is the solving questions your in text questions and examples and then solving PYQs. In maths and physics it is exercise questions in biology you do not have to solve exercise questions you can directly do PYQs ok. Now, once that is done let us see what should be our daily routine. So, morning I want all of you to dedicate one hour to do a quick revision of what you have studied last night and also to solve some numericals you can solve either maths or physics or chemistry numerical some practice you can do in the morning. Then in the evening it is the main study hour 2 hour you have to give you should select 2 subject per day ok 1 hour per subject you should be doing concept and question practice. So, when I said question practice I have already explained it to you subject wise if you are doing physics then you should solve exercise questions if you are doing chemistry you should solve in text questions if you are doing biology you should be solving PYQs right. Then after that we have at night one hour also you have to dedicate to give total solving of PYQs. So, a per day you at 4 dedicated hours are required for the midterm preparation ok. This is very very important 4 hours you have to take if you want to score 95 percent plus. Now, let us move forward to understand the 20 day breakdown. So, I have given here the timetable or the subject based on their uh, weightage. So, you can start on day 1 with current electricity and solutions on day 2 with these 2 topics. So, you can just take a screenshot I will not read out the chapters here after 9 days you have to do a revision of all the things that you have studied ok. Please take a screenshot day 1 to day 10 here and then day 11 to day 20. So, I have given you last 3 days still if you follow this timetable 3 days will be remaining in your hand to revise or to complete those portions which are incomplete ok. So, enough time will be getting so please just uh, watch this or I will just explain you on day 2 you have to do continuity and differentiability this is a big chapter. So, I have given you 3 days to complete that you have to plan accordingly then you have 
on day 5 electric charges and field and electrochemistry day 6 derivatives and revision of biology because these are two important big big chapters so once you have completed them just dedicate one day to revise it ok so like this the syllabus is distributed in a very practical and logical manner just take the screenshot of this paste on your study table and follow it ok next we will see what are the tips that you can follow for maximum efficiency because you have less time right so if you follow the conventional method of studying you will forget things so how you should read so that in this 20 days also you can do maximum so the first thing is you should whatever you are studying short notes should be prepared formula or reactions uh, notebook should definitely be there okay next Pomodoro technique you should follow 25 minutes of study and 5 minutes of break so that the small breaks can actually recharge you and you can continue study for long hours then track your progress with the checklist of chapter so you should have this uh, this one should be there and once the chapter is completed just put a correct tick mark here to see that what is your progress where you are lagging okay uh, next yeah next we have sleep seven hours daily this is very important so your brain can uh, brain can uh, what i'll say save the things that you are storing inside it right if you don't sleep the things that you're putting inside the brain will go out your brain needs some rest to absorb that information so please sleep at least six to seven hours daily okay now coming the most important thing how is diksha karnataka going to help you so i've already told you we have this uh, uh, dedicated 30 day midterm challenge or midterm series is going on already it has started from 5th of september and these are the schedule of the chapters that we are going to do on the following dates you can take a screenshot so how it is exactly wo uh, working we are making two videos earlier we are making three videos now we have reduced to two video per day so per day you will get one video from each subject okay like means for example on 20th of september 6 pm there is biology so you will get one video on human reproduction which discuss all the concepts okay Cla clarification of concepts will be done ma'am will explain all the concepts and there will be a second video where all the questions will be included these questions will be sourced from last year sample question papers last year uh, pre last year question paper last year uh, the question board bank so all the important questions are included so it will be hardly one or the, the total thing will be of two hours video so you can just watch it at 1.5x and complete the syllabus okay so that is there and i'll give you a demo of this one so you can see we have physics bio maths chemistry all the subjects are running on in our channel so please do uh, subscribe the channel if you haven't and watch these videos these are really really going to help you in your preparation okay so that's all my dear children in this video if you have any further doubts put down in the comment section and if you are ready to score 95 percent just put down in the hashtag 95 okay that shows me your commitment your effort to get this to this to target this 95 percent so yes that's all and thank you all the best again the comment section is open for all of you any doubt please put down in the comment section bye bye take care